in a very dale hand leaf. Jim, leave the correct amount for this aftershave cologne. What? What? Don't, don't, don't bother oh, wrapping. Just, 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 just keep the change. Just, just keep the change. the strangest time to go shopping. Home Fatale. Home Fatale. Isn't that the stuff Isn't that knocked stuff you up knocked you up the first time? Place, the antidote needed to restore Laura Lee. Now, can we head for the last place where Laura Lee is without further questions? <laughs> there she is. Now, yeah, come on, come on, as you get close to her and give her a whiff of this Home Fatale. Me? Oh, Me? Because if I inhale some of it, I might freeze the controls again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Laura Lee. Oh, we need him. No, we need him. Like Florida needs another hurricane. Now, grab hold of Laura Lee and get her to some inconspicuous place. I'll take care of Brennan with a little delusionary illusion. Laura Lee. Laura Lee, my dear. I am not your Laura Lee. some cologne. You do? Yes. Yes. Well, I know it's none of my business, but what do you do? Bathe in it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm sweet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can I just have one bottle of Umatel? And then some night, we'll have, have, have dinner together and I'll answer all your questions. And if you, I might like to ask too. Now, the Umatel? Lady? Lady? What lady? Where'd she go? What's she look like? Not the record of the sale, not the customer. She was a lady with a little kid. A lady? A lady? Yes, a lady. Yes, a lady. Was a little kid. Does this lady happen to have a black cap on? But in a public store. Why, it's getting so women aren't safe anywhere anymore. If there were a policeman around. A nice dear lady. I am not your dear lady. And don't you dare get familiar with me, you you department store Romeo. Uncle Martin. It's too bad you finished so quickly because I was beginning to enjoy it. Well, I'm finished. And so are you. And so are Mrs. Brown. And so is. Well, I broke the bottle before I can give her a whip. And there's not any other bottle of this clone. This entire store, and the lady who took it, there she is! There she is. Martin, bottle. you gotta get that bottle. Wait a minute, I thought you said you could export yourself to direct fumes in this car. I'll hold my nose and hope that none of the fumes seep through. No, I think she'll pick the fine place to hide her. With the other man who read my package. Oh, Aaron, I should have known you'd be mixed up in this. Oh, I haven't the slightest, oh, Brenna, I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking don't about. Don't you? Don't think you can make a fool out of me, O'Hara. It's too late for that. I couldn't agree with you I more. I couldn't agree with you more. No, 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 it's too dangerous. <laughs> They ought to make a marksmanship medal for you for shooting off your mouth. Well, sir, I'll let you report this man. He has insulted me and made accusation. I'm Lieutenant Brennan, police department. Oh, I, 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 I don't have my identification on. Detective, eh? I'd say you look more like a shoplifter than one of our suits you're wearing. You were undoubtedly trying to walk out of the store that way while drawing attention to somebody else. Sitting here, O'Hara, tell her who I am. I'm a shoplifter. He's a masher, that's what he is. He tried to accost me. Mr. Kelsey, there's a man walking around the window. How what were you doing in there? What else? What house? Window shopping. Window shopping. All over for you. You mean that's the dummy you said you were looking for? <laughs> Brennan, how dare you refer to me as a dummy? <laughs> I, I, I said no such thing, Morley. I was really asking if anyone had seen you. A 
don't believe him, honey. He's a liar. He tried to pick me up earlier. <laughs> I did not try to pick you up, madam. I just said she just looked like you. Well, as a matter of fact, almost all the women seem to look like you. And... <laughs> so, I'm not only a dummy, am I? I'm also so ordinary, I look like every other woman. Oh, no, 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 no,
What do will I do, WWE? I think, I think perhaps I'll stay in the same dressing room after all. I after all, I don't want anyone to think that I'm getting this well hit. Just make sure you Just put a larger sure star, a larger that's star that's on my dressing room. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Well, Marshall, I hope this won't take too long. I have the most beautiful creature in the world waiting for me outside. Don't you think you'd better take off those dark glasses? We're not expecting our next solar eclipse. Oh, come off it, Uncle Martin. You can't bug me. I've got to show you something. Something that may make you think twice. Oh, I'll think twice. Oh, I'll think twice, huh? I'll think the same thing both times. Would you mind looking into your plate, even though it's not a mirror? What is this? The moment after we left to come here. The place, the motion picture home for retired actors. Who's the cast of characters? Who's the cast of characters? The old guy looks familiar. His name is Tim O'Hara. That's... That's... Me? That's me? Remember, it's over 40 years from now. You decided to stay behind. Messages for me. Did Mr. DeVille call you? Oh. Has it been important to my fan clubs? Me. That's silly. Old egotist. But what am I doing in the motion picture? I'm a big star. You are now, Tim. But this is 1925. In 1928, something unforeseen is going to happen. You mean that you, mean. you didn't make it into talkies. Well, wow. Well, I guess it's not so bad. Guess it's not so bad man. being a newspaper man. Eating Mrs. Brown's chocolate Eating pies. Mrs. Brown's chocolate right pocket now. pies. You see, the only way people can really be happy is to be themselves. Yeah. Yeah. But what I really hate, to, I give really up hate to give up is Viola. I know. But things have a way of working out. 